guys, it's Julia and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do videos on fashion, luxury, and travel, so that's something you're into. Definitely hit the subscribe button. I'm also on Instagram where I style a bunch of the luxury items I get over there. And then I'm also on TikTok. We're at Woodbury Comps today, so let's see what we can find. At Gucci, they have this beautiful pastel collection that was perfect for spring summer. They had small leather goods, handbags, as well as shoes. The colors varied from a beautiful baby pink, a light yellow and green, and so forth. I love color coordinating my shoes with my outfits, so really like the different colors that they did offer. And then they also had a really great collaboration with Disney that's about to come up. They had these sweatshirts, they had crew necks, they had track suits and t-shirts, all with the different Disney characters on them. This brought back so many childhood memories for me, so I was just so happy to see all of my favorite characters there, from Donald Duck to Mickey and Minnie. Then, of course, I had to try on this Gucci Beverly Hills crew neck. I used to be obsessed with cherries on clothing growing up and thought it was super cute, but a tad too big for my liking. There were a few clothing pieces that I tried on, mostly because they had a further reduced clothing section. So I tried on this red tank and romper, and then I did try on this winter coat that was probably my favorite piece in the store with suede trimming on the cuffs, pockets, and buttons that included the GG logo. And the overall silhouette of the jacket was super nice. Then they also had a Gucci blouse that was quite simple and elegant with a gold GG button detailing at the top with a front ruffle. They also had this bright green Gucci dress with a white belt that I thought was a nice touch. I really like that they always have a great selection of handbags. That's something that's very apparent at the front of the store. The only drawback when it comes to Gucci is that there's always a line to get in. They also had canvas bags, which are pretty great for the summertime and lightweight. And they came in a variety of styles and sizes. So highly recommend you check out the handbags at the store here. Also, I want to note here, if there's any item on this video that you love, I'll leave a phone number to the outlets in the description below. That way you can call the respective store and most of them are willing to send photos and chip products to you over the phone, even if you can't visit in store. Happy shopping. The next stop is Prada, where we start off with the Prada Canapa tote bag. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's a very popular tote bag that comes in a variety of styles. They had this one and I had never tried it on, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that it had a shoulder strap. And throughout the store, they had a variety of handbag styles. They had bucket bags, they had shoulder bags, also top handle bags. So it was really cool to see all of them. There was nylon, leather, and canvas bags. And the store itself is so large. It has just a wide variety of inventory for men and women. And they also have Miu Miu products inside as well. They did have a markdown section, but I will say that the Prada ready to wear pieces are quite expensive comparatively to other designers in the outlets. I really love this camera bag from Prada that had the logo embossed on one style and then the other had it in gold. So I really appreciated that it came in these two different styles in a variety of colors. I thought it was really beautiful. So that's it for Prada. We're gonna make our way to Balenciaga. Last time I was here, I noted that there were a wide variety of styles of the city bag, but today I really want to highlight some of their more unique styles that they do have. So I'm gonna let this run so you guys can just really enjoy it on your own.
The next stop is Zimmerman, which is my favorite shop at the outlets. I absolutely love the floral designs that they have here. I love it in the dresses. They have rompers. They have blouses. I also love their shorts that typically flare out, which is a style that I really enjoy. Unfortunately, the day that I did go, a lot of the styles were not in my size. So they were either too big or too small. So I didn't walk away with anything, but I still had some fun in the dressing room just so you guys can see the different styles that they do have. They do restock quite frequently. So it really depends on the day that you go, what they have in stock. But I really love their pieces and it's really great pricing, better than online sale shopping that I found. So really love dropping by Zimmerman whenever I can. The next stop is St. Laurent where I pulled a selection of bags to show you guys. They have this beautiful canvas St. Laurent bag with the logos and I thought it was really great for spring summertime. They also had the very popular Kate bag that is perfect for going out. I really love the gold hardware on this. It really sparkles. I was also told that this bag does not come in too often so it is a very special piece. The next stop is Loewe, which I was really excited to go to given I had never been in this store before, but I have appreciated their bags. And I really was excited when they showed me this puzzle bag that just came in. It's in the mini size with the top handle as well as the shoulder strap inside in a beautiful burgundy color. They also had this larger puzzle bag in this snake print and it was really nice to see just the different sizes that they had in stock. They also had a variety of other handbags. They had these bucket bags, they had shoulder bags. It was really beautiful pieces. It's a smaller store, so definitely more boutique feel to it. They had a lot of ready to wear, I would say as well, but a few selection of shoes. So that concludes Loewe and now we're on to Balmain. I again had never been to this store before, so I was really excited to go to it. I absolutely feel like this was my favorite store to shop at and mostly window shop when I say that given just the price range of the clothing here but I love the pastel coloring the tweed jackets the glittery sequins dresses it all was just so beautiful and elegant I personally feel like I want to shop here in the future when I have a big payday but I really appreciate it just window shopping here and I think that Balmain has a wide variety of ready-to-wear pieces that I I definitely will want in the future. The next stop is Acme Studios, which I must say on this day, I received the best customer service here. As soon as I walked in, I was greeted by a sales associate who asked me if I had been to the store before, to which I replied I had not. They then proceeded to tell me the layout of the store. And then since I was interested in handbags, they told me how they have a collaboration with different artists for every season to come out with very innovative and beautifully designed handbags. So I really appreciated just the knowledge that this sales associate was sharing with me. They also shared that this brand was actually founded with jeans primarily in mind, and then they grew from there. Just walking throughout the store, it was really cool to see the different pieces. I felt like everything that they did have was very unique and fashion forward. And I truly felt like if you saw a piece from here, you wouldn't really see anything else like it at other stores. So I really appreciated just the uniqueness of the brand itself. So I'll definitely be coming back here and I hope you guys enjoy just taking a look around. The next stop is Dior, which is a personal favorite of mine. They have a wide selection of ready to wear pieces. I found these really cute shorts that have the Christian Dior along the side and this beautiful print. They also had sweaters, which I believe we saw last time just in a different style. So it was nice to see them again, but with this floral pattern. They also had, to my surprise, clutches, which should be coming up soon. And the reason why I am surprised is because uh, in the past, I did not see any handbags whatsoever, not even clutches, and that's because they typically don't even receive handbags, and if they do, they're usually sold out. So these were a really nice, rare find. Though I did not try them on, they were really beautiful. And the next stop is Fendi, but I'm going to let you guys tour this one on your own, so I'll see you at the next store.
next and last stop is Bottega Veneta. So here I really fell in love with the beak bag. It came in a variety of pastel colors. I'm trying on this beautiful like lime lemon color. They also had a salmon color and I saw a purple color as well. Then they have this wall of bags where you can see a variation of styles as well as colors. So it's really nice just to shop here. They have really great shoe selections as well as handbags. So now we're nearing to the end of the video. So if you haven't already subscribed, I highly encourage you guys to do so. You already made it this far, so I really hope to see you guys next time. And also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you have a wonderful day. And again, don't forget to check out the description if you're interested in any of these items and want to contact the shop through Woodbury Common Outlet. All right, have a great day. Bye.